4.30 p.m. September the 8th, 1989. Knut Tveten and Finn Petter Berg are flying a charter flight from Oslo, Norway, to the German city of Hamburg. The plane is about 100 kilometers from the Danish coast. 124.55 by Partner 394. How was dinner? Delicious. A little pricey, <laughs> but delicious. The two friends have flown around the world together, including remote areas of Africa. They're highly experienced, and both are only months away from retirement. Copenhagen, good afternoon. Partner 394, good afternoon. Radar contact, Copenhagen control. 394. The plane is flying 22,000 feet above the North Sea. The aircraft they're flying is a twin prop Convair 340 580. It's a popular plane for short routes like this one. The plane has been chartered by the Norwegian shipping company, Wilhelmsen. All 50 passengers are winners of a company lottery, sending them on a free trip to Hamburg to name a new ship. Some had maybe been to naming ceremonies before, but the naming ceremonies are quite uh, exciting. And the atmosphere was very, very, very good at the time of, of leaving. One of the company's best employees is chosen to give a speech at the christening of the ship in Hamburg. You have to deliver a speech. And it's not so very often that normal person within the company is giving the honor of naming a ship. But it was felt that that was right. As the convair crosses the North Sea, a Norwegian Air Force F-16 approaches the plane on its way home. Clock. At 16. Suddenly the plane experiences a violent shock. The crew is caught by surprise. rolling upside down. Air traffic control notices that Partner 394 is off course and falling from the sky. Partner 394, Copenhagen Control, please report new flight level. The crew is struggling to save the plane and the lives of everyone on board. Please report new flight level. Then it disappears. It seems as though the charter flight has crashed into the sea. Partner uh, 394 on route to Hamburg is off radar. 